And we just saw that video there of um, Jeremy with Sarkozy yeah. and also uh, I think it was Tim Westwood in yeah, the Tim UK Westwood, yeah. with Sarkozy. Now, one of the things about, you know, for me, a lot of radio stations, especially youth radio stations, have what we call Lafra. American accents. Jeremy is usually accused of doing it, even though she hasn't lived in the US. She has that accent. I know you've been accused of having it. The really? Lafa accent. A lot of people say you do Lafa. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, okay, I, I, okay, I've lived in the UK. Some people yeah. say, oh, oh, you have a British accent. It's not my fault. That's how I, I lived. You know, that's how my accent is. But why do you think so many people on radio t- choose to adopt this fake American or British accent when they've never lived in that country? Well, um, let, let's. First off, if I've been accused, I haven't heard. But oh, fine. please, me, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, they so say you thank you. I'll, I'll just look hard on social media <laughs> and make sure that I find out for myself. <laughs> but um, in, the, in the slang or the kind of jargons that we use, you can't necessarily blame radio and TV, especially youth, mm-hmm. in, uh, with these terms. Instead of saying, I'm going to, I probably want to say, I'm going to. Oh, yeah. You cannot blame me for saying, I'm going to. It's, it's, you it's can something. say, I'm going to with a Ghanaian accent. <laughs> I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna with a Ghanaian accent but like or I'm with saying, a Nigerian so, accent. So it's um, it's some of these terms and the way they sound, or these words and the way they sound, may have this uh, uh, foreign accent mm-hmm. twist to it. So and when you're on air, you know sometimes you get really crazy and um, you're talking. You're not too much aware of what you are you are saying or how you were saying it example i'm on air it's loud music i'm playing a song from um uh the United chris, States. chris chris brown and i'm bumping my head with the last because in the studio and i'm in the mood i'm talking you know it's very very i can't be caught unaware in certain statements mm-hmm. i pass so i, I i'll probably say that yes i i would i would find myself in there and the topic we're discussing now, the westernization yeah. of the, the showbiz, I mean, these things have eaten down into us so much that because I, I, I practically watch a lot of 106 and Park, I, I watch a lot of um, Ellen uh, DeGeneres, I watch a lot of Oprah Winfrey. Um, so it's very natural that in, in okay. watching these people, you know, I, I may pick up certain things even without in my subconscious, without even All realizing right. that I have. See, so I'm going to come to you. Um, you're American. No, I'm Ghanaian. But you're Ghanaian, but you have an American accent, naturally. Um, you tell me. <laughs> you tell me. Okay, I was just, I was just, when I just walked in, I was just trying to hear, hear you a little bit. Do you feel like definitely in Ghana, um, and I, I think it's usually a youth thing, when it comes to youth radio, youth TV shows, the music shows, we definitely have become very westernized, even as in some of our movies, but that's like a, new, an, a different story. Have we become very westernized? Well, for starters, I mean, I was looking at this synopsis and thinking that... Uh, it, it references five years. Mm-hmm. In the last five years, I actually think we're in a much better place than okay. we've been because uh, uh, our own genres of music, hip life, um, and stuff like that, are making um, more and more of a statement on the industry landscape every single day. Um, we're listening to that. We're looking for for new releases in that. Um, and so I feel like now. A lot of people feel a little bit more comfortable speaking um, pidgin or any of our local languages in music Mm -hmm. and across the arts. Um, Several other reasons that I won't necessarily get into. I feel like Ghana overall is in a place where we are grappling with things uh, with regards to identity. Is there a case of... Lafa, as it is, yes. But then, when you when you say a fake accent or a Ghanaian accent, uh, what is a Ghanaian accent, really? Um, in a world that we claim is globalized, what is a Ghanaian accent? Um, everybody's individual accent is is a is a union of so many references. What they're watching, mm-hmm. what they're reading, um, you know. All of that, what they're listening to, okay. places they've been, <laughs> you, you know. Um, so to, to clearly define what a, a, a Ghanaian accent is in our minds, I feel like it could be a little bit problematic. But yes, Lafa exists. I'm okay. not denying that. Um, yeah, me, uh, you're an entertainment editor and, you know, you're pretty much very, when it comes to observing our entertainment industry, you're pretty much very much uh, looking into it, looking at the westernization of, you know, the or accusation of westernization of Ghanaian entertainment, our music, our movies, our dress, you know, so forth. What, what do you say about that? Um, thank you, Omar. Um, I think you know me uh, for a long time now. I think um, the first question I'm asking is, 
why is the West not copying from us? And we, we, we intend to say, and we want to do what the West are doing. Jay was saying, um, you know, how will an artist go on set in, in Kente or something? There's nothing wrong about it. Uh, to me, when I heard of this topic, I just said to myself, it's one simple thing, inferiority complex. Mm. That's what I think. Because um, they created their own, they have their own culture. Where is our own culture? Okay, is it, can it also be because we're bombarded? I mean, I know when you, we, you grow up watching cartoons, most of them have American accents. You grow up watching TV. Most of the things that I know I grew up with, I know people, actually I have a friend whose son in the UK grew up because he was watching Sesame Street, started speaking with, them, with an American accent in England until he grew up. I know there's kids in Ghana, so can, can it just be whether another part of it is the fact that we're so bombarded by Western images on our TV screens here, everywhere, that that's what we want to appropriate, almost? Um, when you look at Nigeria, for example, okay. do you want to say because uh, they are bombarded with Western um, stuff, culture and everything, you still mm -hmm. feel it's in there. My problem in Ghana is uh, we intend to, you know, sorry, respect the whites and then try to behave like them. Where's our culture? Where has it gone to? Okay, so I don't agree with that. But, uh, yeah, okay. exactly. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't agree with trying to I, be white. I don't agree with that at all. I also don't agree with what you were saying. Well, um, with all due respect, it's, um, the, if you watch the video with um, um, Asamoah Jan and I don't know, supposedly the late Castro, in that video with Kofi Kinata, they were wearing Kente as well, okay. right? Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Um, if if you watch the interview with Sarkodie and um, and Tim Westwood earlier on, mm -hmm. I think in the where he was at that point in time, like he said, it's very easy to be swayed in speech to sound like the environment you are in. You well, did that interview when Sarkodie started speaking like a British person? You know, it almost Tim Westwood. sounded like okay. it's very easy now. Is it our, when he speaks? No, his, it's not that. It, our, natural, maybe he wanted the, the UK to, audience to understand him more. He wants the UK Maybe Sarkodie's local rap has gotten him a place on the BET platform. Fine. Yes, so we are getting there. It's a gradual process. Now we were colonized. We were we, we didn't we didn't develop by ourselves. We we're colonized. You understand? Okay. So even right from grassroots, we still have the elements of the Western culture in us, injected in us in everything we do. Okay. You you you'd find a lot of Ghanaians committing to London and back in the UK and back. There's still that bond. So it's very easy to probably get Ghanaians sound like we haven't been influenced too much. We are going okay. out of it. It's getting there. Yeah. I know you, you wanna say when, something. When we say when we say things like um, to be ourselves, I feel like there needs to be a very clear demarcation between tradition and culture. Because hmm. culture is dynamic. That's true. Um, and so if, if you talk about culture and then you talk about being ourselves in our entertainment industry and you go around Monday to Friday because you're a creative, because you're an artist, you're a musician, wearing Levi's and a white T-shirt and then to be yourself in a music video, you go and put on a raffia skirt and then put chalk over your face. Where is the true self? Um, and it, it, again, it just becomes a, a really complex. I know that there's Ghanaian tradition, and there is a, what we all recognize as elements of a Ghanaian accent. There's, there's all of that. But when we start to say things like, he could have won Kente, you know, it's, 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 I guess it's a different thing if you're standing there wearing a top hat and, you know, a tailcoat <laughs> and, and, and white gloves. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But are we. In a postmodern world, I feel like we're all struggling to create and fashion our own individual identities. And yes, authenticity exists and resonates. But the point is, if you haven't even left this country and you're sounding like you've lived in the Bronx for... That's problematic. There's a, there's a difference between making slang references. It is problematic. problematic. I do want to, yeah, let me just sort of share my personal experience. I started doing television in the UK. Mm -hmm. I was, and one of the things which I loved, because I used to come back on holiday here, was I used to buy all my African prints and go and do 
interviews wearing my African print and I always used to stand up because I pretty much stood up the most. But yeah, I've been accused of being too westernized, uh, yeah, especially in Ghana. I leave my natural hair. Oh, you're very African when I wear weave. Ooh, you're not African anymore, which I think is unfair because regardless of whether I'm sounding like this, this is how I sound. I can't help it. I'm still pretty much as Ghanaian as possible. But I think, is it a problem because when people think you're faking it, do you feel like the difference is, but I said, I've been accused of being too westernized. It's neither here nor there. Mm. Um, what do you say about that, Jay? Well, when I come to you, Amy. Um, you, haven't, you haven't been westernized. You see, mm. what, let's, let's, let's take voice as one. Mm. I, I'm a sound engineer, so I, I, I understand what I'm talking about now. Let's take voice as one and let's take fashion as the other. Is he westernized? Would you blame him? This is the trend of, his, of the society. They'll say he sounds westernized, he's wearing yeah. western clothes, but he's, he's Ghanaian and yeah, he has, doesn't have dreadlocks. dreadlocks. I'm probably Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if, if as, 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 uh, as probably through what is trending, I mean, this is, I love, I love your shirt, you know, this is, this is what we all wear, slim fits, you know, and just, we're all looking smart and decent. Fine. Now let's take voice. Equally, if he sounds a certain way, even whether he's been outside or not, you can't blame him. You see, it's it's it depends on. I have I have a Wait, child. In, I have a, my mom. My mom has a preschool. Mm -hmm. Now this school, there's this one little boy. He's I think less than four, who sounds very American. Mom says he's never been out. He's mm -hmm. just been watching cartoons. I agree with that. It happens the world over. Yes. So he's acquired the accent. Because in the environment, he's, he spends more time watching all these cartoons, and then he's picked it up. You can't blame. It's what's trending with Okay, him. can I be honest, too? I think a lot of things, were, which we all do, I'm, I, I can, I've done movies, I speak, you know, I go with a character. If I'm playing a British person, I speak with a British actor. If I'm, I can do a Ghanaian accent, too, for the most part. I can switch well as an actress. That's what I do. So, however, is it because a lot of times our presenters and our, uh, our radio presenters choose as when when to speak because I know one of the uh, a lot of people who are accused of doing lafa don't talk like that when they're not doing mm -hmm. yeah you know so now it's time for us to do this and all of that and then people think it's a joke and that's why I think constantly it comes across in the accusation is that when as soon as they come off it like, oh Charlie you know say <laughs> you know wait wait see and yet they have a job their bosses are paying them and recruiting mm -hmm. them for those foreign so is it is it is it is it is it the companies which are pushing the agenda that you have to have an American accent because I've a lot of young people come up to me and say they want to get into presenting or they want to sound like me and I'm like you don't you can't don't do that be yourself so yeah me is that not pretense? Of course it's pretense, but is if you're getting paid to pretend, well, wait, why not do it? The question is, why um, do you want to be something or somebody else? And just like you're on set, you're speaking like an American, then when you leave, you I think one thing. Um, well, another thing was that nobody, not hardly anybody in the U U.S. is trying to sound like, like a, a so-called uh, African because yes. they think African is Where? one accent. By the way. So why don't <laughs> oh, I know that for sure. I auditioned for international movies, and they said we want an African accent. They don't care if you're South African sounding; it doesn't matter. It's African. Uh huh. So I think um, the question I still want to ask again is those people out there why are they not trying to be like us because our culture hasn't been sold to them as well they're not they don't so consume you, our if, culture and now, our entertainment so now, now you get in there if you on set or maybe people are watching out there you have the platform to tell the people out there about our own culture and um just as you said hmm. why don't you use it um, and check I just the want to have as much of a problem. You know, Dude, this is just a house. Check what you're telling me. Let me ask you something. Check. Okay, wait, 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 wait. okay, one at a time. All right. Okay. A friend of mine asked me, me once, um, or actually coined the expression Lala. Lala, which as is a locally one. acquired local accent. I like that. Okay. We don't talk. We, we never talk about that, do we? Okay, that's But true. it exists. Okay. Yes, locally acquired. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? And this same friend reference. Like going to the art center and getting rushed by people who are doing fake American accents and doing them badly. <laughs> um, and that's a problem. But in the conversation, he asked me, can you, can you blame them for wanting to be a part of something that is sold to them so in music, great. in art, in movies. everything as the height of success, the, the so-called American dream, or be a part of London street culture? In it, okay. in it, the in it dream. Okay, okay, That's I'll come to you in a second, Yemi. Because um, I want to just, before, because time is almost up. Another thing, too, when we appropriate a lot of this Western culture, especially in hip-hop, Back in the day, um, Ghanaians were not using the N word. Mm -hmm. We're not calling women the B word and stuff and the <laughs> F word. Like now that you hear F, F this, and you know, I can't say that on air. 
now it's almost it's right. Radio. Yeah. And that's something that over there is they censor it. But here, afternoon, you turn on the major radio station, they're playing an uncensored version of FFSSNN My Me and well, you have a point there. I think it's eaten into us so bad that... But you see, I, I really want to um, put a, a, draw a line here. There's, there's voice, and then there's the, there's the others. So are we saying that the way people sound have been influenced by the foreign culture? Are we just yes, I think so, yes. Think so. Okay. Do you think that? Well, um, I do voiceovers. Mm-hmm. Let me ask oh, you. Oh, so you can do different voices. So <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do a commercial for a party. Uh, that's going to go uh, or happen at Aphrodisia nightclub. Now, I'm supposed to uh, express it by saying it's going to be the biggest and the hottest uh, rave in town. Okay. I cannot. I can But just for commercial purposes, I cannot sound, sound like but it is going to be the hottest do, and the do biggest. Do me a demo. So do me a two-way. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please. I'm, 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 I'm controlling I'm, I'm, this. Wait, wait. Ask, this is my interview. I want it to know. Do the two me. distinctions. So, I want the Ghanaian first. So just so real quick. Ghanaian accent. For it is going to be the hottest and the biggest rave in the capital city. Okay, now do the American one. It's going to be the hottest and the biggest rave in the capital city. Why can't no, you no, say it's no, going listen, to be the for biggest commercial, rave? No, no, relax. For commercial purposes, let me answer. Okay. Let me answer. For commercial purposes. It sounds purposes, better. You, I'm sure you'd be the same person who picked the phone and say, Jay, did you just sound like that on the radio? I wouldn't commercial? care. Because that's no, how you sound. Let's be, I let, let's be, no, wait. Let's be real here. I do commercials okay. and I know how people respond. To certain things, to certain kinds of ads, and how and this is controversial. No, so talking, that means talking, that we I'm don't talking, like wait, our own no, like, yeah, there's, la la. There's, 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 <laughs> um, there's reality, and, and, and there's what sells. And there's, and there's what sells. Okay. You want to tell so, me no, no, relax. So what I'm saying is that in our reality, time is almost up, so in reality, right? In reality, in reality, okay. I, I would have to go. It is the biggest and the hottest. I can sound like that. Okay? So you think if you sound like but, this, but relax, still not, uh, it, 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 it is but, still not. But the kind of response, okay, okay. That you, would you would get. get. You think because it was, um, kind of relax, response? Relax, I'm coming. No, no, wait. Let me finish. Let me give you. I I manage radio station, so I'm not talking about. The kind of response you even get from certain kinds of commercials that run on the station is... It's, okay. It, I'm going to have to unfortunately cut you. This is a <laughs> okay. conversation I don't think okay. is the end of. But one thing I will say is whenever I go to Nigeria, with Nigeria, even if they have an American accent, they still this sound Niger- Nigerian. So, and I know... So I don't that's that. a bit of a general yeah. statement. Mostly. Mostly. I'm generalizing. I'm generalizing. I'm generalizing. I think you named the Nigerian artist. He sounds Nigerian to me. He sounds pretty much Nigerian. The last time he was on stage received an award in Ghana... I, I, I oh, stood no. there okay, and I the American and I accent is, has not So coming. I think it cuts across. So I <laughs> so think it's general. Okay. <laughs> this is a conversation I'm sure we, we're not going to finish. I want to say thank you to um, all our wonderful guests. First, and to, uh, to Yemi, to Seaton, and also to Jay.